Hey there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and Cherry Ed Uh, well, I actually got done a little early. Um, so I made a beeline over to Dr. Gillum's office so that I could get uh, my consent for surgery form filled out and pick up my uh, orders for my labs, uh, blood work, and an EKG. Uh, <laughs> so now I just have to, you know, get in and get that taken care of. Um, my surgery is coming up soon and I have to have this done, uh, before the surgery. So, uh, now I've got the paperwork so I can just, uh, get in there and get it done. Oh, and it is raining today uh, looks like it's supposed to rain most of the weekend uh, I was hoping to be able to get out in the garden and uh, get some tilling done so that we would actually possibly have a garden this year uh, so far it's not looking promising um, because with my work schedule the way it's been uh, you know, I'm I'm working, or it's raining, or you know, we've got something else scheduled and planned, and, and we're doing something, and I have not been able to do really any yard work yet, so I'm running out of time. But maybe, hopefully, uh, maybe the weather forecast is wrong. And, by say Saturday morning it'll be nice and uh, dry enough that I can get out there until um, I've got to get the small tiller running uh, I'm still working on the bigger tiller the riding tiller uh, haven't really had a chance to get back out there and play with it uh, some more to make sure that I the problem is getting it, it I'm getting it started okay but then it wants to quit on me and then it doesn't want to restart. Um, so I wind up having to let it sit for a while before it will restart. So uh, I'm thinking it's a carburetor issue. Uh, I'm hoping that's all it is. I'm hoping that the can of carb cleaner that I have will uh, help me to fix the issue. But part of the problem is actually getting it running and getting it to stay running long enough for me to be able to spray the carb cleaner and uh, get it to work uh, in the locations that it needs to be working. <laughs> so, but I'm, I'm, I know what I'm wanting to get done. Uh, so the next step is getting the, uh, the smaller push tiller going. Uh, it was working last year and uh, does just fine. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, getting it, having the conditions dry enough that I can get it out, get it going, and uh, get the area tilled so that we can at least have a small garden. Um, I don't know that I could use it for the big garden. I think it's way too much space to try to, to till with the smaller tiller. I, I need the riding tiller um, to be able to do it, but we'll see. Um, so, I think that's going to do it for today. So, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good evening.